I check in the hotel and I want to work out. So I go to Gold's Gym, which, you know, they got a Gold's Gym. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll go to Gold's. And everybody's looking at me funny, but I, I just thought that because I was huge, they were looking at me funny, whatever. <laughs> so then after that, I had an event. So I go to the event and I'm in there. It's like 65 people in there, a little small supplement store. And I'm signing autographs and, you know, doing like, a, you know, just answering questions. And all of a sudden, these two cops come in. And right when they walk in, I'm still taking a picture with someone. So, I'm, you know, the one got, cop comes stand next to me. And, I, you know, I told him, give me a second. I finished taking a picture with the one guy. So then I hold my hand out to shake his hand to take a picture with him because that's what I thought he wanted. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so, no. He, <laughs> so he said. And he said, no, come here, come yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, clink, <laughs> clink. No, they didn't keep put handcuffs on you, did they? He says, Mr. Freeman, um, you need to come with us. We got to ask you some questions. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool. For, I'm like, for what? And uh, then he said, I'll tell you at the station. So I'm like, so immediately, I'm, I think in somebody's, um, you know, they're punking me. I thought, yeah. you know, <laughs> I think they were strippers or something. Back, so. No, no, Ashton Kutcher yeah. has the show. Uh, yeah, yeah, show. yeah, punked, uh, punked, yeah. yeah. Punked. So I thought I was being punked. So anyway, they was like, no, this is serious. I said, I said, oh, okay, cool. So I had on the tank top and I got my jacket and I walk out the door and I hear, then all of a sudden, these, these you know, cameras clicking, this paparazzi. And I'm like, Ooh. that's interesting. Okay, cool. So I get in the police car. I'm still like oblivious. I don't know what's going on. So we drive. I'm just, I'm just being very cooperative because I'm in a foreign country. Mm. So we go to the police station, and uh, and then you know he starts asking me all these questions. He said, we we suspect that you are um, use anabolic steroids or whatever. So oh. so and then we got in that whole discussion, and they wanted to piss test me and all that type of stuff. And I'm sitting there you know, talking to this guy and I'm like, you know, after I really realized what's going on, because his partner told me that, um, uh, what's his name? Um, Martin Shelson had came to the airport uh, yeah, yeah, Martin and he had some stuff in his bag or whatever. And it took nine customs agents to subdue him or whatever. So anytime anybody big goes to Sweden, they basically give him the once over, mm. you know, that's what this was all about. And so as the guys asked me the questions, I, I'm like, I'm like, dude, really? I said, how old are you? Cause we were talking about testosterone <clears throat> and uh he said that um i said do you guys have the right to do this and he said yes in sweden you know we call that doping i said but i'm i live in america he's like well he said once you come into our country then we can legally do this and i was like wow that's that's pretty pretty crazy they call it muscle profiling is this true and, is so this anyway true? I, uh -huh. I told the cop i said how i said how old are you bro he said like 47 I said, dude, you might need to get your testosterone checked because you're acting like a bitch right now. <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of estrogen flowing over there. Oh, and yeah. uh, his partner started laughing. And then, you know, they, they got real cool after that because they saw, you know, what was going on. And they said re the reason why they do that is because guys like us make the kids want to be like us or whatever. Something to, something to that nature. Yeah. And I said, well, when you harass people like me who are coming here to you know, help your country to, you know, give back to the to the kids and all that type of stuff. You cr you try to create a bad image of me. I said, but you're really just making me more popular. Mm. And um, I said, you're kind of defeating your purpose a little bit, because mm. when people see that you are harassing people just because of the way they look, then it kind of flips the script on what you're trying to accomplish. Just, you know, FYI. Mm. So anyway, they, they took me back to the to the store. I walk in and everyone's still there. No one's left. Really? And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I wow. said, I said, how? Why are you guys still here? And they said, because we knew it was going to happen. It happens all the time. And oh. I'm like, wow, you invited 300 pound black men to Sweden. Don't tell them that they're going <laughs> to they're going to arrest them when they, you come. They